We're joined today by a pair of MRS medal winners. We have Sharon Glatzer and Nicholas Kotoff. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Good morning, Chris. Now, as with all award winners, of course, a big congratulations to you both. Thank you. Quite an honor for you. Your award talk focused on nanoparticle self-assembly. In fact, it's called Integration of Computation and Experiment for Discovery and Design of Nanoparticle Self-Assembly. Mm -hmm. A long title for a long talk, but give me a thumbnail sketch. What did you speak about? We uh, spoke about our joint work together. Nick is a <clears throat> trained as a physical chemist. I'm trained as a soft condensed matter uh, computational physicist. And together we are professors of chemical engineering at the University of Michigan. Go Wolverines. <laughs> go Wolverines. Go Wolverines. Yes, <laughs> indeed, go blue. There you so, go. Uh, so, so we started a collaboration about 10 years ago, when uh, shortly after I moved to Michigan, when, when Nick first moved to Michigan, um, where he makes uh, interesting nanoparticles for self-assembling into complex materials with interesting function. And uh, my group does computer simulations trying to understand the basics of self-assembly. And so we integrate the experimental work and the theoretical uh. and computational work to try to understand better materials and then design them. So you're, you're quite a team. Nicholas, I assume you'd agree. Um, yes. Um, I would also add uh, to that great description of the talk. Also, um, that the talk was about understanding each other. Mm. It was a historical perspective of our collaboration and how important for the people of different backgrounds in science and engineering to really understand the language. We uh, spoke about what nanoparticle is mm -hmm. to Sharon mm -hmm. and what nanoparticle is uh, to, uh, who, to me. And understanding each other and combining these two visions uh, resulted in fantastic uh, um, advances in understanding their interactions in big ensembles. That was the talk about. Mm -hmm. And speaking of understanding, why is it so important to understand self-assembly? Um, I, uh, I think if we look all around us in nature, we see self-assembly in every minute, in every mm -hmm. piece of the universe. N nature is using self-assembly to create very sophisticated structures. And uh, not using that tool, not understanding that tool, is a missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to uh, correct and, what, and that's why we advancing this uh, field of self-assembly in order to transition it to the technological advances eventually. Well, Sharon, what are some of the advances and practical applications <coughs> of your research? Well, um, one of the, the, the main reasons for also exploiting self-assembly is, um, is that it's just impractical, inefficient, to think about designing and building new materials from the bottom up by doing it any other way. Mm. So being from Michigan, we know all about Ford and the, the assembly line, which was invented in Michigan. But if you were to um, imagine um, designing and wanting to fabricate some new kind of material with uh, fantastic optical properties mm. or mechanical properties, extreme materials, things like this, um, and you wanted to design them at the nanometer scale where, where you can build in the function that you want, if you had to then fabricate that material by placing all these nanoparticles one by one by one, you'd never be able to do it. It'd take forever. So we need to exploit the, the, the ther thermodynamics and kinetics of self-assembly in order to have these materials basically build themselves. Is there a lot more to learn then with self-assembly? Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So you'll be working for quite a while. I you hope so. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me about that. Um, we certainly have a lot of plans, and uh, part of the talks was about what we can do in the future. Mm -hmm. And um, as Sharon just uh, uh, explained, that uh, there are a lot of things that we can uh, design um, uh, in the part of the design of self-assembled mm -hmm. structures. So what computational science affords us now is starting with the uh, features of nanoparticle with their atomic molecular interfacial structures 
and uh, projected in the computer how it would build itself in the macro scale. And uh, that's, for me, one of the greatest um, direction and the most exciting mm -hmm. directions in the field. Mm -hmm. um, engineering of nanoparticle as a unit and uh, foreseeing how it would assemble in a bigger functional uh, structure which combines, say, plasmonic particles, mm -hmm. excitonic particles, semiconductor metals, uh, polymeric materials, also including the biological components as well. So the combination of inorganic components and biological components in one integrated structure, mm -hmm. I think it's very exciting uh, direction. That's right. And Chris, one of the things we're, we're super excited about mm -hmm. for this metal is it's apparently the first time that the MRS has ever given the metal jointly to two people. Um, and we're very proud of that because they, they, yes. they specifically did it because of the integration of computation and experiment, which is really a paradigm for the way that all of science is, is, is going these days. So many problems at the forefront of science require not only sophisticated experiments, but we need to have theory to help understand the experiments. We need computation to help point the way for um, experiments. And it, you know, the way that we, we often work together is that Nick will, you know, creatively go into the lab and, and make something. I, I don't even know how, how he does it. It's, it's, a, it's amazing. I would never be able to do what, what mm -hmm. Nick does. But he'll come to us with, look at this structure and this structure, and we don't understand, and why do you think this structure is forming? Can you guys understand this with, with computer simulation? And then we work together to understand it. And then we'll take our models a step further mm -hmm. and say, you know, if you tweak this or you did this instead or that instead, you might get this structure. Can you make this structure? And oftentimes we'll go to him with ideas like, what if you could do this? What if you could do that? And often he will say, uh, no. Well, I can not tell. This decade. You guys. But, but sometimes he says, yes, yes, I can do this. A great team, very dynamic. Congratulations again on your award and thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, thanks, Chris. Chris. This MRS Metal Talk is being recorded and will be available several weeks after the meeting at mrs.org backslash on demand.